friends before we proceed to know how to use uvc light to fight against the coronavirus let us understand it in some depth three types of lights are generated from our sun infrared visible and ultraviolet uv light is again divided into three spectrums uva low energy uva light has wavelengths from 315 to 400 nanometers medium energy uvb wavelength is from 281 to 314 nanometers and high energy uvc light wavelength is from 100 to 280 nanometers along with infrared and Uh, visible lights principally uva <coughs> and a small amount of uvb light also reach the surface of the earth but uvc light is completely absorbed in ozone layer at the junction of troposphere and stratosphere about 15 to 18 kilometers above earth's surface actually at that level uvc light converts oxygen uh, into ozone oxygen is colorless but ozone is a uh, blue colored gas therefore the sky looks blue from earth's surface what we call the sky is actually nothing but ozone layer if you look at the sky from above the ozone layer it is empty space which looks black because it is colorless long wavelength uv lights are known as black light are or also as disco lights these are only for fluorescence purpose they do not have any germicidal power uva light is used as disco lights for fancy dress parties for black light mimes and for fake currency detection uva light is also used in lithographic and some special types of offset printing It is also used for UV curable liquid resin 3D printing. Short wavelength white UVA tubes are used for skin tanning because it induces more melanin production in skin. White people want to look dark. They try to make their skin dark. This is known as tanning. It is achieved by beach sunbathing or by man made uv bath tanning beds uv b light converts cholesterol into vitamin d in humans via skin uv b light in human therapeutic use is uh, uh, helpful in the vitamin d3 synthesis vitamin d is essential for calcium uptake into the bones without which bones become brittle like chalk stick uvb light in the form of skin exposure in daily doses of 10 to 20 mJ per cm2 equivalent to 30 minutes of morning sun exposure converts cholesterol into vitamin d so uvb light also helps in reduction of cholesterol and increase in vitamin d3 and uvb light is also used in certain skin disease treatment like psoriasis eczema vitiligo which is known as white spots narrow band uvb at 311 nanometer wavelength is very helpful in treatments of vitiligo and eczema many uvb home therapy machines are also available in some countries there is one more interesting use of uvb light all cold blooded reptiles and all colorful birds cannot survive without uva and uvb light so every zoo and aviary keep uvb uva b lamps above their cages uvc lamps come in various sizes and shapes however few things are common to all uvc lamps one they are always made of pure transparent quartz pulp so these tubes are always transparent only through transparent quartz glass uvc rays can come out two they are marked with a triangular uvc lamp symbol 
and three a symbol of mercury hg because it contains small amount of vaporized mercury since the beginning of life on earth three billion years ago origin of microbiological life and evolution thereafter has always occurred in absence of uv light under the umbrella of ozone layer so no virus no bacteria nor any fungus can live in presence of uvc light unlike modern day chemicals such as antibiotics no microbe can ever develop resistance to uvc light 250 to 270 nanometer wavelength has the maximum germicidal effect uvc light can kill viruses in matter of just few seconds bacteria and fungi in just few minutes viruses lipid envelope and bacterial cell wall are fully transparent to uh, uh, uvc light so uv photons enter the virus uh, or bacteria or fungi and destroy their RNA or DNA just in few seconds. In this process, cell wall remains intact, only RNA and DNA genome is coagulated. You can imagine and compare this DNA or RNA coagulation to a melted chocolate left under the summer sun or burnt hairs or a melted candle whose flame of life is already lost. These type of DNA dead bacteria or virus are having intact cell wall proteins. So they actually work as a natural vaccine for our immune system to identify. Most people have safety concerns and questions about UVC light. Let us address few important and most frequent ones. Question is, can UVC light cause cancer? The answer is no. So far, all over the world, there is not a single report of UVC light caused cancer in humans. UVC light has very shallow depth of penetration, usually 20 to 30 microns. UVC light does not penetrate beyond stratum corneum layer of the epidermis, which in any case is a dead cell layer devoid of cell nuclei uh, and devoid of any form of DNA. So UVC is least likely to induce cancer. There is not a single world report. Can oral mucosa develop cancer by UVC light? There is not a single confirmed report in the world about UVC induced mucosal carcinoma. UVB light has been shown to develop lips or tongue cancer after more than 20 years of exposure to a daily dose as high as 10 to 20 millijoule per centimeter square, which is a total of 7,300 doses. UVC light has much shallower penetration depth than UVB. We need only four to six low doses of two millijoule per centimeter square. From this evidence, it seems that chances of UVC light used in four to six short time doses uh, inducing mucosal cancer are almost nil but cannot be completely ruled out if if you wish to read more about this here is the link for this paper it is like this we all know that tobacco causes cancer but that does not happen in one or two doses american medical association has set per day exposure limit of 0.5 microwatt per centimeter square for seven hours for working life of 30 years of a worker who is working in uvc water treatment and uvc manufacturing companies production plants now let us learn a little bit about dose calculation seven hours uh, multiplied by 0.5 microwatt per centimeter square is the safe dose per day as indicated by American Medical Association. Now, dose is always measured in millijoules, which is equivalent of total received energy in a given time. Time is always measured in seconds in these calculations. Dose, uh, that is energy, is equal to power, that is intensity, multiplied by seconds. So seven hours is equivalent of 25,200 seconds. 
पॉइंट फाइव माइक्रोवॉट पावर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सेकेंड्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड माइक्रो जूल्स पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर सो ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड माइक्रो जूल्स डिवाइडेड बाय वन थाउजेंड इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सिक्स मिली जूल्स पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर सो पर डे अप टू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सिक्स मिली जूल्स पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर डोज एक्सपोजर इज सेफ फॉर ह्यूमन्स वेर एज टोटल डोज ऑफ ओनली टू मिली जूल्स पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर किल्स नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ वायरसेस इफ यू विश टू रीड इन डिटेल्स यू मे प्लीज डाउनलोड एंड रीड दिस रिपोर्ट फॉर यू वी सी एक्सपोजर थ्री शोल्ड लिमिट वैल्यू वॉट आर द स्किन साइड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ यू वी सी लाइट स्किन बर्न्स एंड फीलिंग ऑफ of dead skin can occur if if exposure is more than 1000 seconds in a day that is 16.7 minutes this is preventable by applying uv protection sunscreen lotion vaseline butter or ghee over areas of skin where we don't want uvc to act at times in fact it is good to have shedding of old dead and diseased skin layers so as to give way to have a fresh rejuvenated skin layers can uvc light damage eye or vision corneal epithelial shallow burns can occur after a continuous or cumulative exposure of over 1000 seconds that is 16.7 minutes in one day giving rise to severe eye burning known as welder's eye this is preventable by using uv protection goggles or keeping patient's eye lids closed welder's eye is a self healing condition doesn't need any treatment except cooling and lubricating eye drops or putting cold water sponges over closed eyes this does not leave any permanent scarring or any permanent damage can uvc light induce cataract no because uvc light does not penetrate beyond cornea so it cannot induce cataract or any retinal damage or any other internal damage to the eye seamen and fishermen spend their whole lives under the solar uv light boatmen also construction workers and farm workers also how many cancers have we heard of these people blacksmiths lohars spend their life very close to welding arcs which generate intense uvc light how many have we seen developing skin cancer due to uv light cancer and uv light sphere is baseless and mainly due to incomplete and very shallow understanding and very shallow knowledge about uv light i surgeon friends all know that we irradiate human cornea with uva light for 30 minutes which is 1800 seconds at 3 milliwatt per centimeter square intensity that is a total dose of 5400 millijoules per centimeter square this is being done since 22 years since 1998 few lakhs per year around the world over 2 million or so cases done by now have we ever seen a case of cataract or corneal cancer after c3r cornea collagen cross linking when we do lasik surgery we hit the cornea uh, with intense beam of uvc laser of 193 nanometer wavelength intensity of this laser beam is 150 millijoules and on an average we use it for 100 seconds thus we deposit a total of 15000 millijoules on human cornea in 1 and 1/2 minute this is being done since 1984 and about 30 lakh surgeries are done per year around the world by now in last 35 years more than 10 crore 100 million surgeries have been done almost all of those patients are young and they are still alive even today how many corneal cancers have we seen out of these 100 million patients treated with lasik not a single in siberia and north pole regions winter they have 6 months long night there is no sun for 6 months 
so their schools have special periods for uv light bath like we have pt or sports period to prevent vitamin d deficiency and to keep their immune system fully charged uv light is a great immunity booster not only in schools even in home families take regular uv bath there are uv bath tunnels in Russia and also UV sauna bath in those North Pole region countries. UV light is also being used by many dermatologists for treatments of various skin diseases, including for treating some of the skin cancers. Use of UV light for medical therapy is not new. 400 years before the birth of Jesus Christ, that is 2400 years before now, Hippocrates was prescribing UV therapy known as heliotherapy in Greek language. Even bikini-like dresses were first described and prescribed by him and Philostratus for UV therapy. 122 years ago, in 1898, Dr. Niels Finsen first found out that UV light can kill tuberculosis bacteria. From 1898 to 1960, for almost 62 years till streptomycin was invented, UV light was the only treatment for tuberculosis. Niels Finsen was awarded 1903 Nobel Prize for Physics and Medicine for his discovery of germicidal power of UV light and treatment of tuberculosis. Early morning Surya Namaskar Yoga is also actually a form of UV AB bath. So fear of UV light and UVC induced cancer is not true. It is more like a paper tiger. No pain, no gain, as they say in English. Taking some risk is always essential to achieve heights. Well, when the risk to reward ratio is in our favor, a wise man would take proper decision in favor of benefits rather than risk. Thank you for your attention. Let us now go to our next video about ozone. Thanks again.